back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review on the brand new Elite Series 87 Braun Strowman and Otis figures. Now, it's kind of insane that we're even getting a Braun Strowman considering that he was released from the company not too long ago. I think there's actually rumors of him returning, but nothing as of late. At time of recording, he is still not with the company, at least to my knowledge. But Braun Strowman and Otis right here, man, both of them featuring double-jointed arms. Very excited to see how those work. Very excited excited to see how we can fix these guys up when the opportunity comes for surgery. This could be our last Braun Strowman Elite ever made, and it could be his best one ever made as well. We'll have to do some comparisons and things of that nature, but here's our front viewing window, guys. If you guys would like to pick these up from Ringside Collectibles, definitely go over there and do so. WrestlingFigures.com Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. Get in on all of the new figures, all the pre-orders, all the AEW figures. So many things to cover. So many things we can't talk about. But Braun Strowman and Otis look really Really good right here man spinning them to the right you will get a beautiful image of both men with beards beard beard and men's with beards is the is the theme of today's review you got two bio reads if you'd like to read it you can pause it now rest of the figures in the wave a shot of both of the gentlemen there and that pretty much wraps up our packaging i'm really excited to see the new packaging coming in elite series 89 i think it may have been 88 but i want to say it's elite 89 really hyped to see what that looks like but without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's go ahead and crock brought and crock Let's go ahead and croc Brand Strowman. Is that what I was about to say? Let's go ahead and croc Brand Strowman and Otis out of their packaging. So here's Braun Strowman and Otis out of their packaging, man, and I gotta say, I'm loving both of these figures a lot right off the bat. Taking the time, posing them around, getting used to their joints and everything like that, man. Very impressed. Very, very impressive, man. Like, don't get me wrong, they do have their problems, which we will cover, of course, but overall, man, really enjoying the feel in the hand, man. That's like such a big deal for me, It's just how the figure feels in the hand, man. And I think we're gonna be pretty excited for this. One thing you'll probably notice right off the bat, guys, is that the Braun Strowman and the Otis are significantly different in height and that is because Braun Strowman is 6'8 and Otis is 5'10 and I don't know if you'll believe this but Braun Strowman actually weighs like 55 pounds more than Otis and he's absolutely jacked it's what first of all it's because he has less body fat second of all muscle weighs more than fat but these figures look absolutely fantastic man I'm very excited to get into this what we're gonna do first guys is cover Otis's accessories and Otis and we'll run it back and cover Braun Strowman's accessories and Braun Strowman so starting out with Otis's accessories, man, good. starting things off with this very interesting lunch pail. This is the money in the bank or the money in the lunch or whatever the hell. You got the money in the bank logo there. Very nice green color, yellow stripe going down the side. You also get the yellow handle. I actually like this a lot. Very unique. I think it would have been cool to see him come with an actual money in the bank briefcase as well because I think he was carrying around both. And also, uh, this lunch pail is not even accurate. The the green color is not accurate. The, the buckles right here aren't really accurate. And then the money in the bank logo was supposed to be yellow i think it matched the exact money in the bank briefcase so that is something it's not the biggest deal it's just i mean it, it, i mean it's kind of a big deal because it's not even accurate but anyways guys if you pop this open you will also see that it contains some meat on the inside of here and you can actually unplug that they come with like two little pegs right here that plug in right inside of there so if you wanted to put something in there or not have anything in there at all it totally works and you can plug in that and shut it which is really cool i like this accessory it's just not accurate and you know it, 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 you know, it can add for your catering or something like that. I don't know. You can get creative with it. Outside of that, you also have interchangeable hands. He comes with a pair of fisted hands. He comes with a pair of mic holding hands, both of which we've seen a million times. And then out of the packaging, he comes with the throne sitting hands or the clapping hands or the worm hands or whatever you want to call this. Yeah, there you go. That's what he comes with. Oh, yeah, and I forgot his stupid shirt. How did I forget that? He also comes with this sleeveless cutoff working man Otis t-shirt or, or sleeveless shirt. I don't know how. Oh, I forgot about that. It's like I thought it was a part of the figure or something. Working Man Otis looks really nice. Cloth t-shirts make the world go round with our Mattel WWE action figures, man, so I'm not gonna complain about this one freaking bit. I love it. I think they did a great job on it, and both of these figures actually come with cloth accessories, so that's a that's a win-win right there, but the Money in the Bank briefcase or the lunch case or the lunch box, Money in the Lunch Box, Working Man Otis t-shirt, interchangeable hands, really good accessories for our Otis figure. So getting into Otis, man, starting out at the head sculpt, a head sculpt that we have seen before, but it is 
is slightly painted. They did add some darker near the bottom of the beard there. A little bit of blonde at the top too. Kind of throw me off at times, but now he looks completely different, right? He shaved his whole face. He's got like a whole different haircut going on, but this is the same head sculpt and hair sculpt that we saw before, just slightly different painted. This is a shirtless Otis, and it looks a little bit odd, I will say, right here, just kind of completely flat. Besides the chest hair, I do like that they added the chest hair. That's a very nice touch, but you know, that's, I don't know what it is. It's like because he doesn't have like any chest sculpture, it just kind of looks weird. Like it's just flat skin, so that is a little bit weird. He also can rotate all this around, like not just the waist, but the upper diaphragm right there. He also has the double jointed arms, which are absolutely beautiful. These look like Brock Lesnar arms too, so that's pretty cool with the black wrist tape. I don't know if you'll be able to put that on a Brock Lesnar Elite or not, but they are very nicely sized. They have good girth to them and stuff. You got the double jointed pinless arms right there. Got some heavy machinery trunks, I think. I think that's the heavy machinery logo. You got black right there. On the back, it says Working Man Otis. Got the big beefy thighs right there. Knee pads are sculpted on for the double jointed knee, which actually works very well. Love his boots. Same boots as his Elite 76 figure, I do believe. However, I think they did add Otis right here. I don't think that was on his Elite 76 figure, but overall, man, the figure feels fantastic. Kind of crazy how good this figure feels in the hand. Like, you wouldn't expect it to have good articulation. He also has ball joints, and they are painted black so that, you know, you don't get the little testes hanging out. But, uh, yeah, I, I like the way the figure feels a lot. I will say there was a little bit of gappage right here in his double joint arms. Like, right here, you guys will notice, like, in these cracks right here, it kind of looks like a little bit gappy. But overall, man, figure feels really good in the hand, which is something that I will always praise. Like, 100%. And you can pose him around and stuff. It feels really good. I think if you wanted to fed with this guy, he'd be a ton of fun to pose around. Like, he, he feels great. And then for your Otis figure comparison, man, here is the Elite 76 Otis up next to the brand new Elite 87. You guys can see the same head sculpt there. It's pretty much the same figure except uh, he's not wearing the singlet. The articulation is very similar except he had a single jointed arm last time, double jointed arms this time. This one definitely feels like it moves around better and feels better slightly in the hand. And it kind of looks like they made his neck look a little bit better right here in the shoulders. So, yeah, man, I think this is a great upgrade from our last Otis and it's a little bit more updated for sure. But that does it for your Otis figure comparisons. So if you guys want to see the full articulation of Otis again, he is on just a ball joint right here. That's kind of like Mattel's signature right there, but he can get a little bit of head pivoting in there. The upper part of the torso does spin all the way around, and I mean, you don't get the best ab crunch, but he can crunch back a little bit. Uh, you don't really get to bend over a ton because it's a solid plastic right there. You do get a good waist swivel, though. Shoulders move up more than 90 degrees, which is nice. You get a nice bicep swivel. Double jointed arms are pretty freaking nice. He can do anything you need him to do, I would say. I mean, he can cover his mouth right there, which is which is very nice. Same standard hand articulation. The legs are pretty good. They go out that far. They are on ball joints. Again, you get the upper thigh cut, which is genius and beautiful. Double jointed knee is very good on this Otis. I really, really like it a lot. You get the boot swivel. You get the ankle pivot. Not as good as the AEW figures is as far as the ankle pivot, but you still get a good ankle pivot in there. And overall, man, just a really fun Otis figure, bro. Otis is two for two on his elites. Like, that is outstanding. So for Braun Strowman's accessories, man, we also get the cloth accessory, and his is actually this sleeveless camo shirt, which is very thin, like super duper thin. It's not thick like a regular Mattel shirt. It has a very, very, it's very thin. Like, it's absolutely thin. I don't think it's, like, bad or anything, but if you guys wanted to see what this looks like on the figure really quick, it's got a nice detail on it. I like the camo pattern and everything on it. If you guys wanted to see, again, what it looks like on here. Here it is on the figure. I don't know. It looks kind of odd in my personal opinion. It doesn't, it's not, like, bad or anything, and I'll take it a million times over the rubber accessories or anything like that. It just looks a bit odd. Maybe it looks better standing up or something like that, which we'll take a look at in a second, but I like the cloth accessory and everything like that. Love the pattern, like I said. It is very thin. It kind of reminds me of the Elite 5 Ziggler vest, if you guys have ever owned that, but there is the vest on the figure. He also comes with interchangeable fists and these open hands, which are pretty much choke slamming hands. You guys can see the black tape over the hands right there, and compared to his body, these hands could definitely be bigger. I would say his fists are very tiny compared to his arms, and then his hands, I mean, they're not the worst thing ever, but upgrading or upsizing them would do wonders for the figure. I think it would make it look a lot better if they were to upgrade the size of that, but since he's not getting another Elite Man, probably uh, will be the last time we see this, unless he comes back to the company, which I heard they might. So, yeah. Tiny Hand Strowman. Now, getting into Braun Strowman, man, starting out at the top of the head sculpt, really like this head sculpt a lot. You got, like, the pissed-off expression with the ball. Looks really nice. I think this is our first bald Braun Strowman, if I'm not mistaken. The last one I was using was custom. I know we do have that basic coming, but this head sculpt looks really, really good. The likeness and the beard and the bald head.
head sculpt and everything like that. You got the tattoo going on the back. We have seen a shirtless Strowman before. I've always liked this torso for him. He's a big mammoth of a man. He's literally the Incredible Hulk in the flesh. Dude is gigantic and it comes across in figure form, man. I wish that we could fix these tiny hands, but the double jointed arms look very good. I'm pretty sure him and Otis are using the exact same arm mold. Just thicker black wrist tape and black hands, but the double jointed arms, man, are outstanding. Like, good God in heaven. He can punch himself in the face. I mean, the arms feel really good. Great ab crunch. I mean, basically, elites are turning into ultimate additions with the better torso. So, elites may be better than ultimate additions now, bro. Especially as we forge on to the future. Of course, the ultimates will have more interchangeable head sculpts, more cloth accessories and things like that. But going down into the legs, man, great sculpted detail down the side of the pants. You guys can see all these threads and these buckles and the camo and then all these pockets sculpted on here and these patches sculpted onto the pants. Really, really nice sculpt work right here. Some patches and just the colors and everything really stand out. We don't usually get stuff like this on the Elites, man. So the tooling and the beautiful looking legs right here are outstanding. You also have like the brown Roman boots right there which we talked about with the fix-up. The belt buckle's actually painted. It just seems like they took a lot more attention to detail now, man. I don't know if that's going to be an ongoing trend or what, but there is your Braun Strowman figure, bro. If you want to see some of this articulation like we covered, man, the double jointed arm are great. We'll also do a comparison of the articulation with the last Elite Strowman, but the ab crunch is pretty solid. Back is pretty good. Great, great waist swivel, not too loose. I wish this was a ball hinge. I wish they would switch from head sculpts on just a ball joint to a ball hinge like AEW figures. The bicep swivel is good. You get a great split see here because he is on ball joints. He can kick forward a little. You do get a great double jointed knee right there, which is excellent. He can rotate his boot and everything like that. You do get ankle pivot. You get the upper thigh swivel. Swivel. I mean, dude, these elites are just getting better and better, man. And this Braun Strowman is pretty damn good, bro. Probably the best Braun Strowman they've ever released, even though I prefer the other legs. This figure kicks some ace. And then for your Braun Strowman Elite figure comparisons, guys, here is the Elite 87 up front. I don't remember what series this one was. I, I don't know why the Braun Strowman series are kind of jumping out of my memory for some reason. I think it's because we had the top talents and then we had those, like, random elites thrown in there that were very similar, as you guys can see. This is our first Elite Strowman that shirtless but it is our first one with these style pants and if you guys want to compare uh this was my custom made bald head sculpt up next to the mattel version they look very similar all i did was shave off the hair with a dremel and then acetone it as you guys can see the ponytail little thing is still in there but if you guys wanted to test this double jointed arm theory that is the double jointed arm and here is the single jointed arm so yeah definite upgrade bro definite upgrade no doubts about it however this one does have the bigger hands in there and just look how much better this one looks proportion wise i mean it's kind of ridiculous it looks so much better man but the double jointed arms continue to be undefeated and this is the best braun Strowman ever made yep no doubts about it man don't even have a don't even have a problem with it best braun Strowman ever made yeah i i, I feel pretty damn confident saying that but i think that about wraps up this two in one elite 87 braun Strowman and otis review man overall i say upgrade both man you're not gonna regret buying any figure in this set so far man the double jointed arms are just a change of the game and i think everybody should experience it and get it in hand so you understand what you're purchasing and what these double jointed arms and these changes are all about like no doubt about it bro the these are gonna like make figures so much better and this is only the beginning like wait until you know they get even more properly tooled wait till they get you know they figure out how to make them a little bit tighter or a little bit you know better and and less fragile and things of those natures not saying they're fragile here or that they're loose i'm just saying those are little things that will improve over time so hopefully as we move on here it's just going to get better Better and better and you guys already know the figures are getting better and better the the technology is getting better and better the things are getting bigger and better it's just insane like a lot of people have stated already this is the golden era of action figure collecting especially wrestling figures so with that being said guys go over to ringside collectibles and cash in your lunch pail in the bank and purchase these figures using code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent again aew pre-orders from sdcc new wwe elites ringside exclusives there's so many things you got to cash in on man do not miss out on it but a huge shout out to Ringside Collectibles for making the review possible. Go use promo code MDTOYS when shopping over there. I'd really appreciate it. But before we get out of here, guys, let's get into a random shout out. By the way, both of these are just, they're upgrades from their other
other figures. They're just a great upgrade. The head sculpts are great. The accessories are cool. You get the cloth. You get the double jointed arms. What else do you want, man? They are very nice. I approve of both of these purchases. And this shot is going to go to Pug Plays underscore YouTube. That US title is going to look fresh on the Elite 84 Sheamus. And I thought the exact thing. That is a great point. The Elite 84 Sheamus is a fantastic figure. I'm so glad that it's not like shelf warming because it is that good. Like it's probably the best Sheamus they've ever made and it's so beautiful. Like as far like head to toe. I love when figures capture people perfectly and I think that figure captures Sheamus perfectly and that US Championship is going to look great on there like you said. So a huge shout out to you man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys tomorrow for our ranking and I think I may also have another video going up. We'll have to see about that. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like every figure ever before these that had single jointed arms just like yesterday. You cross the line.